Hello and welcome to this video in which we will show how to solve problems of the following type. I have a random variable x and I'm given a particular probability which I'll represent here as p. And I want to find a value such that the probability that the random variable x is less than or equal to this value is equal to p. This is something we do quite a lot when we start working with uh, confidence intervals, uh, also with hypothesis testing. So here I have a plot of the density of a normal random variable. In this particular case, the mean of the random variable is 3, and the variance is 0.5. Let's suppose that I want to find a value x such that the probability that my random variable is less than or equal to x is equal to 0.3. So if we look at our graph, what we're looking for is to find some variable x such that the area under the density function to the left of x is 0.3. The easy way to do this is with Excel using the normInv function. Okay, so I start the formula, norm inv. The probability I'm looking for is 0.3. The mean is 3, and the standard deviation is the square root of 0 0.5. My variance is 0 0.5, so my standard deviation is going to be the square root of that. And that says then that the value of x that will make the probability of the random variable less than or equal to this value be 0.3, that value of x is 2.63 more or less. So to graph this more accurately, this value of x is actually about here. This area here has a value of 0.3. This is one form of a problem that we'll often solve this way. Let's look at another. I have the same random variable x with the same density, and now suppose that I want to find the value of little x, that is the constant, such that the probability that the random variable is greater than this little value x is equal to 0.1. So again, graphically what I'm looking for is a value of x out here such that the probability of x being larger than this value, which again is the area under the density, is 0.1. To solve this I use the following relationship. That is the probability that x is greater than x is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to x. The reason I do that is if I know what this probability is, then I can use norm inv to find the value of x that gives us that probability. So in this case, I want this probability to be 0.1. So I do some algebra and I get the probability of x less than or equal to little x is 0.9. And again, what I'm looking to do here is find the value of little x that gives us this probability of 0.9. Okay, so I type in norm inv. The probability is now 0.9. The mean is 3. The standard deviation is the square root of 0 0.5 and I get a value of 3.91 rounding to two significant digits. So that says for a value of 3.91 which is here, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3.91 is 0.1. So going a little more quickly through a few more examples Suppose I want to find little x such that the probability that the random variable x is between 2 and little x 
Suppose I want this probability to be 0.7. Well, I can solve this by noting that this probability is the probability that x, the random variable, is less than little x, which is the constant, minus the probability that x is less than 2. What this says, then, is the probability that the random variable x is less than little x, I want to be able to choose little x so that this is 0.7 plus the probability that x is less than 2. The probability that x is less than 2 I can get by norm dist with a value of 2, a mean of 3, a standard deviation of the square root of 0 0.5, and true. And to find the value of x that gives me the desired probability, I'll use norm inv. The probability is going to be 0 0.7 plus this probability that I just computed here. Again, my mean is 3. My standard deviation is square root of 0 0.5. And that gives me a value of 3.54. So basically, what this says is that if I look at 3.54, the probability that x is between 2 and 3.54 which in terms of the density corresponds to this area, that probability is 0.7. And I found this value of x is 3.54 to make this area be 0.7. Okay, one more quick question or one more quick example. Now let's suppose that we want to find the value of little x that makes the probability of the random variable uh, falling between little x and 3, we want that probability to be 0.2. We note that this probability is the probability that x is less than 3 minus the probability that x is less than little x. And we can solve this for the probability that x is less than little x. We would want this to be um, the probability that x is less than 3 minus 0.2. Okay, to find our value of x, we first need to find the probability that x is less than 3. So we do that with norm dist. So that probability is 0.5. Now we can get the x that we want as norm inverse. The probability that we want is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2. Our mean is still 3. Our standard deviation is still the square root of 0.5. Okay, so this point here, 2.63, that says that the probability that x is between 2.63 and 3, which again is the this area under the density function, is 0.2. So hopefully you found this helpful in terms of finding the value x that gives you desired probabilities for a normal random variable. Thanks for watching.